Welcome back, or nice to meet you. I'm Sage, and I think this might be the last video in my Undertale Pacifist run. I am about to enter the True Laboratory. This is my first time seeing it. I've never watched or read anything about this, and it looks amazing, and I am so excited. By the way, if you're new to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. It helps support me so that I can keep making videos like this. All right, let's dive in. Continuing on, here we are. This place looks very survival horror and I love it. Oh my God. It's reminding me of like the Resident Evil laboratories <laughs> with a uh, umbrella core. It's fake plant. Is this a vending machine? My chips, yes. <laughs> chips, some chips. I wanted chips. I don't want to talk to that door yet. I'll click on it, you know what I mean. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it out at all. Elevator lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you could read. Yeah, I'm gonna procrastinate on that. The music is so cool. As always, all the music in Undertale is phenomenal. What does this sign say? Power room. All right. What is this door? Okay, that's not working. I'm assuming that means the power is out in that center room. Maybe lets me turn the power back on? What does this sign say? Entry number six. Ask or ask everyone outside the city for monsters that have fallen down. Their bodies came in today? <laughs> okay. They're still comatose and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? Inject it? How would you... How would you even do that? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. What type of Frankenstein shit is this? Uh, Entry number nine. I wanna, I wanna read the missing entries I didn't get to. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. Oh my god. I told the families I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. I'm very much wondering what's happening. What do I do? Uh, not experiment on people? Some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Some kind of operating table. It's sticky, is that all I was gonna say? Yes. What is this? Three sinks. Turn on the sink. Can I make it flood in here? Can I make it flood? Oh, that one's going. S Why is it different color? What? This just came out of the sink. It doesn't have a name. What is it? Uh. 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 What is the cell? What does that mean? Take out your cell phone and you can hear voices through the receiver. Oh my God, are we like, are these like ghosts we're communicating with? Is this like a spirit box? <laughs> like, we're doing spirit box from Phasmophobia? Come join the fun. Oh Lord. Oh God. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Nobody came. Oh, memory head. That's what your names are is mem. Join or refuse. I don't want to join whatever this party is. Oh well. Laura Mips. <laughs> okay then. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Well I care about I need to eat my hush puppy. Mmm. Okay I can avoid these. I can a oh shit. That was better. I did better. Oh can I spare all of them? Okay. There we go. We won. Oh, no money. What is in the sink? The red key line of sink. <laughs> Toby Fox, thank you. This is giving me Resident Evil vibes. I love that. <laughs> I love Resident Evil, okay. You took it and put it on your keychain. What is this? What is this? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain dropped it. That's all you could read. Okay. The red key fits perfectly in the slot. Is this like a power node? I feel like this is some sort of power node. What is this? Is this like a, is there anything on this? No. Okay. 
You know, I'm realizing Alfie said this is what she was up to. So like, girl. Oh, look, okay, that lit up on this door. Oh, I couldn't even go in here anyway, apparently. It's looking, I probably need four power nodes, I suppose. Oh, this one's open now. Okay, okay. Entry number 12, nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> Entry number 13, one of the bodies opened its eyes. No, 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 no. Oh boy. Oh god. What is this? Is there this? I feel like there's gonna be creepy dolls and I don't like that. I mean, I love it, but I don't like that. <laughs> it's an empty dog food bowl. Okay, this bed is like recently used. Or at least they didn't make the bed. Seems like a comfortable bed. Lie on it. I think I'm gonna regret this, but we're gonna lie on it. <laughs> don't murder me, please. Onion son, is that your tentacle? Wait a minute. That looks like onion son. I don't know. <laughs> it's a bed. It's a bed. More dead plants. Fake plants. Oh, this bed's a little different too. Hmm. There's something under the sheets. Yes, I'll check it out and hopefully I don't die. Oh, it's a it's another key. It's a yellow key. Okay, sweet. And yes, I do have to check every bed just in case. Because that's who I am as a person. So far, just beds. And more fake plants. Oh, there's a clock on the wall. Clock is broken. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Hmm... Also, which way do I want to go? Oh god. What is this one? Ugh. I'm so indecisive. I'm gonna go this way first, I think. Oh hey, it's a mirror. Can't interact with it. Look at all these flowers. Golden flowers. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Hmm, I'm having concerning thoughts. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> I don't- Oh! Cute. Oh, hey, it's astigmatism at the top, but then more stuff. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, astigmatism liked to be picked on. I remember that. So, seemed effective. What does that say? What is that? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't recognize any other possible monsters that this would look like. Um, what does this one do? Mystify? You did something mysterious. It recognizes it has more to learn from this world. I can't, I can't read what that's, a oh my god. Like a butterfly head person thing. Not a person, obviously, but smells like a blank. I'm just gonna go through all of them. We're gonna hum at it. No one heard you. I still can't read. Is that like something afraid of? Oh, good lord. The fuck? <laughs> um, clean. You don't look like you're a Washua at all, but. Wash your hands and nothing happened. Oh, I think it says, what are you afraid of? I'm afraid of whatever this hellscape is. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. CT. Okay. Not the noggins again. Oh, I don't like this attack. Um, maybe? I guess I haven't done prey yet. But I think I need to go back and pick on it again. 
You kneel and pray for safety. Reaper bird. That's your name, Reaper bird? Whoa, someone finally gets it. And then it was like a frog it in there. What the hell? It seems placated. Oh, sweet. That thing was creepy. <laughs> Zero gold once again. Where is to here? Oh, this has a blue. I don't have a blue one. No on the ground. You can't make it all out. Cold. That's all you could read. Some kind of switch. There's a blue colored slot. Yeah. I need to find where I put the yellow one and come back here. There's like a weird haze over everything. It almost looks like shadows from clouds, but obviously like it wouldn't be clouds. I'm gonna save just because I'm right here. All right, let's go this way now. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it? Question mark. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Hmm. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. Hmm, is there more this way? Oh, I don't want to go look at that yet. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That looks a lot like Photoshop plowy and I don't like it and I am going back this way. Gotta go in there eventually, but uh. Oh, this was the little noodly bopper that was in the bedroom. Oh, look how slowly we're walking. This has to be onion sun. It's gotta be. Green key. I need to find the blue one. And I need to find where I put the yellow one. It was this way. A bunch of fans? Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made a big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Oh, Alfie's. But also, oh, Alfie's, what the fuck? <laughs> what the f What the fuck, lady? So this is what being a royal scientist is all about. Okay, is that gonna turn them on? Yes, I will press the switch. Okay, they cleared whatever the hell the smoke was. Oh boy, another creepy creature. Vaguely dog-shaped, but very horrifying. It is screaming. You know what? It's the amalgamate. Why is this giving me Nina vibes? Mm. Oh, yeah, it's... This is, you know, like, the, the head is very greater dog-esque. And then it's weird because, like, the shadows, like, the in-between what I assume are leggies, makes, like, the outline of other little critters. Um, I guess I'll treat it like the greater dog fight and beckon it. Is that its mouth undulating? It bounds towards you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. Cute. Oh, yeah, there's the... Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Alright. It's hovering close, looking for affection. Oh, please don't swallow me <laughs> when I pet you. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. How could this thing even fit on my lap, first of all? Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh. Hey. Oh, that was interesting. Amalgamate is striking the wall with its claws. Do you want to be pet again? Try to pet the amalgamate, but your hand phases through it. It must not want to be pet for now. Okay. Alright then. Maybe we'll play with it. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The amalgamate brings it back to you. Proudly, are we playing fetch with this thing? You repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping amorphous body on you. <laughs> oh. This attack I don't like. It's twitching affectionately. Can I try and pet it again? I'm worried ignoring it will be like bad, so. It starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. Oh no. Alright, let me... Use my Astro food. My HP is maxed out. Ugh. Its convulsions intensify. Can I pet it again? 
You pet decisively. The amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. Oh my god, it's like five dogs in a trench coat. <laughs> Endogeny is contented. Okay. You won! <laughs> that was interesting. Interesting indeed. Well, time to go back to the, uh, the horrors. The horrors that await me right here. Oh, uh, uh, no, 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 no. You tricked me. <laughs> smells like sweet lemons. This looks kind of like a Chiron mixed with that weird jello thing. Oh boy. Lemon bread. I'm gonna start with the unhugging. You let lemon bread be. His teeth shake. Oh, welcome to my special hell. <laughs> ah! Okay, this is a really cool attack though. It smells like sweet lemons. Okay, I'm gonna hum. Wait a minute. <gasps> Flex is an option. Yes, it's. There's an Aaron arm in there. It's body shake. Stay here with me. No, thank you. Sorry. No offense. No offense. I need to eat something. Let me have my potato chips. Chips. Um. I will flex at it. Flex your arm. It seems to remember something. I felt this before. This is such a cool attack, but I'm like so bad at it also. Could this be a goodbye? Thank goodness. <laughs> Cause I need some help. I'm gonna have to eat my cinnamon bun and then I'll have nothing. I need to make sure that my stained apron's equipped too. Cause that heals HP over time. All right, this is horrifying. DT extraction machine, status inactive. DT, like determination, like you use this to extract it from humans? Cute. All right, let's go through here first. Uh, Samara, <laughs> are you gonna come out of this TV and murder me? All right, we put the yellow key in here. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Under sheets, okay. That is where I found that yellow key. There are a bunch of VHSs. Seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. I'm gonna read both bookshelves first. Same message here. They seem to be alphabetized, save for a few stray sticky ones. Let me read this first too. Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. Are we about to watch them? There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Will you watch one? Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. S Gory, wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Uh, and why do you have that video camera? Shh, I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest. What is my favorite vegetable? Hmm, carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is... Edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm, I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Mamaranian. <laughs> you sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous mom medium. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. Oh my god, is this... Is this Toriel being pregnant with, with her baby, Azriel, who died? <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Oh my god. All right, number two. We're getting like some backstory. Say okay, Sage, are you ready? When did I get filmed? Do your creepy face. Ah! <laughs> oh wait, I had the lens cap on. It's playing the same bird chirps that are in the throne room. What? You're not gonna do it again. Come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> what was that? How did I get in here? Howdy, Sage. Smile for the camera. <laughs> this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for dad, right? I'm the human. I'm the hu I'm the human. But how does that even... How does that... This has to be me and Asriel. But... But... 
I don't understand. <laughs> the recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera. Okay. I'm so many emotions and things. I... I don't like this idea, Sage. What? What? No, no, I'm not. The kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Sage. Never. Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Choose a tape to watch. Last one. Sage, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Sage, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You're the future of humans and monsters. S Sage, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I... No, I said- I said it never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six? And we'll do it together, right? It's- it's all ruminating. It's- it's ruminating in here. This thing is so creepy looking. I'm like- the- the wheels are just turning so much. I'm not quite- not quite there, but this is juicy. Okay, some fridge- for refrigerators. This might be our blue key since that seemed to be needed in a cold place. Entry 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. No, oh, our refrigerator's not empty. The refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. Uh... I'm not looking forward to opening this. The refrigerator. It's empty. No, it's not. <laughs> is, is there something behind it? Hmm. Hmm. Entry number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. The refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. The refrigerator. It's empty. Well, then what the f- Okay. Oh. All right. Oh, you look, um... What do we got here? We got a veggie toid and uh oh I can't remember his name, but the 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 one that likes to be a comedian. <laughs> it's so cold. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna joke with you. So the bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Haha, <laughs> I remember. Oh, good. It smells like salty slush. Um, let me laugh, maybe? You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny. You can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that. Snowy. I don't want to like heckle it. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna joke again. Told a bad pun about snow. Her her expression changes more. Thank you. Again, you keep joking. Told a bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. You won. Okay, sweet. Oh, hey, look. The blue key materialized. We gotta backtrack and put that one away. Oh, and here's for the green key. Perfect. Green key fits perfectly in the slot. And this says, there's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you could read. Yep, that's where we found that one, behind the shower curtain. That <laughs> so creeps me out. <laughs> okay. Mm. Let's go put this blue key all the way over this way. And that'll be the last one. Then we can open that, what do you call it, the power door? All these flowers. Here's our final key. The blue key fits perfectly into the slot. Here we go, back to that big door. How on earth am I the human, though? Unless we just share a name. I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on in here. An elevator. But it's, like, open? Seems like another elevator has lost its power. Okay. Well, here we go. Seems to be turned off. No more info on these screens? Hmm. Mm hmm hmm What do we have here? Got like a face on it. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Yes, with hesitance. <laughs> oh dear God. <laughs> what what is one to do in this scenario? <laughs> Can't even move. Hey, stop! Alfie's! Oh, I got questions for you, girl. I had you guys some food, okay? Were they gonna try and eat me? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had. Well, I already ate them, so... Uh, anyway, 
The power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. B but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls could last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take these concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. So you're telling me you experimented on all these monsters, turned them into those amalgamations that are living and suffering, didn't tell their families, didn't tell your employer, and you just keep them trapped in here? Undying can do better, I'm sorry. <laughs> And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. Good, you should. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Mm, I don't know if I should be friends with, uh, with you, Dr. Alphys. <laughs> Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. My god. The power has been turned on. Well, here we go. I'm still really curious about those VHS tapes. What? This is... This is not... I don't like this because it reminds me of Photoshop Flowey again. Entry number 18. The flower is gone. What did I just say? Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Good lord, <laughs> Alphys, you did, you did it. You created Flowey. Oh my god. Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Why is it going so slow? Sage, are you there? How'd you get this phone number? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Sage, see you soon. I am concerned. <laughs> oh, and look, it's all overgrown. I can't even use this. Great. Here we are, uh, back at New Home. Can I go in this one? Can I go anywhere? Can I? This is where Sans. <laughs> Sans. Sans. Hello. Hello. Anyone? Hello? Hello? Throne room. Is there a, can I, can I, can I save anywhere, please? <laughs> where does this go? Oh yeah, this is where all the coffins were, isn't it? Yes, it's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it, and it says Sage. It's empty, because that's where they're going to put my soul, my body. All right, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is great. Oh, boy. Hello, Asgore. Gory, as Tori called you. Dum-de-dum. -dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Flowey hanging out in there. Here we are. Howdy. How can I? What's that reaction there? Oh. I so badly want to say. Would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. Why do we keep having to repeat this cycle though? For real. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you're ready, come into the next room. I'm not ready. 
Not even close. It's a throne. Here's Toriel's throne. There's the Delta Ruin symbol in the window. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. That's what you're gonna call murdering me? <laughs> All right. Why would he even want to though? Like if I am, if I'm actually somehow their kid revived and going in an endless loop here, why? And why does he react? Like, why does no one tell me? I don't understand. Are you ready? If you're not, I understand. I'm not ready either. I'm not ready. I need to find food. <laughs> well, I went and backtracked and there's no way for me to go access anywhere that I could purchase items. I have nothing in my box either. Here we go. Hi, Asgore. You're gonna murder me something fierce, aren't you? This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance, you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Well, I tried, but I can't go anywhere. <laughs> I can't go anywhere, so here we are. I see. This is it, then. Ready? <laughs> oh, boy. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <gasps> oh no. Oh, wait, fire magic. Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness, could it be? <gasps> it's Toriel! What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. Thank goodness, cause I did not have any health items. <laughs> At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous. And ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It's not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. It's so weird because that's like her ex, you know? Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. You really wanted to free our kind. You could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul, taken six souls from humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature, but do you think we can at least be friends again? Not if you're a murderer. Uh, no, Asgore. Oh, hey, Undyne. All my friends are here. <laughs> Asgore, human, nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends or else all, all. Hello, I am Toriel. Are you a human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? <laughs> Jeez, that's a rough buddy. I just witnessed a murder <laughs> of another kind. Hey, uh, nobody hurt each other. This is so cute. Everybody's getting together because they're all alive and I didn't kill anybody. <laughs> oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel. Hello. Uh, hi. Uh, there's two of them? Papyrus? Hey, nobody fights anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask on time for help. He'll, he'll make spaghetti and defeat us all. Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave? And clone himself? Why do they not know who Toriel is? I mean, I guess she's been, like, exiled in her house by choice. But, like, she was queen before, so... Hey, guys, what's up? That voice. Oh, my God, because they used to talk through the door. They used to talk through the door and tell Joe. Hello, I think we may know each other. Oh, hey, I recognize your voice, too. I'm Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait, then this must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It's so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie, I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, 
Snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. <laughs> I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. Oh my god, look at him crying. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. Undyne's totally right about that fish thing. Sometimes you just gotta, uh, stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, just get to know a really cute fish. <laughs> it's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. No, not Metaton. Oh my god. Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? I mean, she created him, so... Uh, Alphys? No. He's right. Let's do it. Is this really happening? Quite an audience, too, I mean... <laughs> well, uh, I guess if you want to, then... Don't hold anything back. Oh my god, they're so cute! That looks not as cute. <laughs> Wait! Not in front of the human! <laughs> uh, right. Sorry. I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think... I think you'll be happy here. Hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. No. Sans did say that a flower has been following Papyrus around and telling him what to do. And I did personally encounter Flowey following me at various times. Oh, God. Tiny flower. No! 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 Flow, you sick fuck. You idiots. While well, you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are gonna be mine too. <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't have to play- If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach, and then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You, I'll keep you here no matter what. This freaking guy. No. Even if it means killing you a million times. Oh my god, what is he doing? Look at them all! One HP. Did Toriel just use some fire magic? What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. My friend! That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. 
hey, human, if you got past me, you can do anything. I've been going through some really hard stuff IRL lately. This is just, this means a lot to me. <laughs> They're so sweet. So don't worry. We're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Oh my god, my HP is increasing each time they talk. Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. They're all doing this to help me. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But somehow I know you can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. All the little monsters that I spared and all the mini bosses. Oh, uh, no. Well, my health is full now. Unbelievable. This can't be happening. You, you. I hate this flower. <laughs> I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. No way. How? You're dead. Finally. I was so tired of being a flower. How did you transform back into- Howdy. Sage, are you there? I don't trust what is happening right now. It's me, your best friend. Yeah, look, he like grew up instantly. Azriel Dreamer. So, Alfie's put your soul in the flower for her experiments. Oh, this looks visually very cool. Um, <laughs> I'm not, I don't understand. If anyone wants to explain it to me like I'm five in the comments, respectfully, <laughs> respectfully like I'm five, I'm gonna look it up after this too. But wow, okay, it's the end. I love the, I love the aesthetics of this fight, I'm just saying. Um, oh, I can hope and I can dream. Let's start with dreaming of a way out of here. <laughs> You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. What does that mean? Whoa, look at those stars. Whoa, 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 look at those stars. Okay, okay, oh Jesus. <laughs> oh, well, he charges a shocker breaker. Last dream. What is all this? Through determination, the dream became true. Your HP was maxed out. Wow, okay, <laughs> you know. I don't care about destroying this world anymore. I'm sure you're just happy to have a body. Oh, good God. What the fuckity fuck is that? Calls on Chaos Saber. I'm just gonna eat my hopes and dreams again. After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. Oh, jeez. Uh. <laughs> Your dream came true, yay. All your progress, everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. Wait. Something tells me that means we've been here before. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Then we can do everything all over again. Why do you like doing this, though? I mean, I guess... If you're a god, it's probably tempting to stay that way or something. <laughs> Man, I'm so bad at dodging his attacks. I just have to keep eating everything. But it's gonna run out eventually, I imagine. What the? Oh. 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 Okay. Oh, god. <laughs> Shit. I was not expecting that, but it refused. It's the end. All right, here we go again. What does hoping do? Hold on to your hopes. You reduced how much damage. Oh, well, that's good. Cause I'm gonna fucking die. I don't even know how you should dodge that. I don't. I don't know. Do I somehow have? Oh, I do. I do. But it's the last one. So I'm gonna. 
I'm gonna chance it. I'm gonna dream again. Oh, that that gave me some health right there. Okay, okay. These attacks are just like an onslaught. I'm sure if I like did this enough, I would learn the best way. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. I'm still wondering what I was supposed to do with that snow piece. I feel like if somehow I could go talk to that snowman again and be like, look, shit. And be like, look, bro, I took this all over the whole, the whole game for you. Okay, let me see how much is still in my... Okay, so there's a lot in there. All right. This seems to be like a forgiving fight. Like the Photoshop flowy one was very forgiving. So we'll do our hopes. We'll do our hopes. Again, I don't even think you can dodge. <laughs> really? Um, we'll, we'll do some hoping again. You keep holding on. Damage reduced. The star, the star attack is not the worst of them all. I say as I am reduced to one HP. Here we go. My dream came true. Now this one is the worst of them all. This one is pretty terrible. Oh, I actually dodged it that time. Well, well, well. What is a chaos saber? And then you'll lose me again. And then you'll get turned back into a flower again. Oh, this was the chaos saber. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Chaos buster. I'm just gonna keep eating these. And again. Okay, all right. I'm alive, I'm alive. I'm alive! And again! How long are we gonna do this, pal? Buddy? That one was a little different than that. Galactica blazing. Oh shit, it's my last dream. Because you want a happy ending. You're not gonna give me my happy ending, though. Excuse me for wanting peace. I'm not gonna eat my snow piece. I can't do that to him. So we're gonna dream again. Think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. Good. Because you love your friends. I do. Ah! Do not despair. It will be fine. It will be fine. Hold on to your hopes and reduce how much damage you'll take. Sounds good. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. As you're already it's galactic blazing, we'll hope some more. Keep holding on. We keep holding on. We keep holding on. That wasn't terrible. Chaos Slicer. Alright. Which sign are you starting with? There we go. Ah! Ah! Okay. Alright. How many rounds do I have to survive here? Because you never give up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that lets you get this far, that's gonna be your downfall. You say so. That attack looks like little dragons to me. Hyper Goner, have we seen that one yet? Now, enough messing around. Oh, I think it's new. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's an evil goat head. What is, what is this? Like a black hole? What is it? What is it? Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Wow, you really are something special. Don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Well, let's see what good your determination is against this. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Alright. Oh boy. Okay. I can't... I can't get my items! I can't... I can't... He blocks the way I can't get my items! All I can do is struggle. Can't move your body. I feel like when Pokemon run out of all the PP on their moves, <laughs> they're just 
struggling? <laughs> but hold my true power. This design looks freaking awesome, I've gotta say. I've gotta say it. All right. Okay, he's struggling. My HP got restored. All right, I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here, in a world where no one remembers you. These look like cool little dragon things. Very visually appealing. The whole world is ending. Can't move your body. Still, you're hanging on? That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. Mm. <laughs> Still? Come on. Show me how good your determination is now. It's determination. Oh. It's okay though. It's okay. It's all right. Can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Tried again to reach your save file and nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But maybe with what little power you have, you can save something else. What does that mean? What does this mean? Oh, I can save my friends? Who do I save first? I'll just go in order. You reached out to Azriel's soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Azriel's soul, something's resonating. The lost soul appeared. Oh, what's wrong with her face? Oh no, why am I attacking? I didn't want to attack. Oh my god. Oh, memories. Okay, how do we... Wait a minute. Oh, these are like from our date. I won that with the fake hit. You tapped the lost soul lately. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. You're a real enemy. No, I'm not. The lost soul stands there. Uh, how about our recipe? Our spaghetti. <laughs> you asked the lost soul to teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. Mercy is for the weak. You say so, Undyne. I love Undyne so much. Last soul stands there. Uh, smile, I guess. Give the last soul a big smile, like you remember she likes to do. She really does like her big smiles. Suddenly the memories are flooding back. <gasps> there she is. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. <gasps> we saved her. You feel something faintly resonating within Azriel. Oh shit. That's how I meant. I was trying to hit save and I didn't do the right button. Saved. Oh, that's your friends with all your heart. From somewhere, you felt their support. Oh, I probably should have tried to save a different one. Hmm. I dodged all of that. All right, let's save Papyrus next. Within the depths of Azriel's soul, something's resonating. Oh, Sans is there too. The lost souls appeared. I'm gonna do a joke. So the last soul a bad pun about skeletons. Seems to hate it. The other last soul seems to like it. I must capture a human. Just give up. I did. That's really sad. Ugh. Darn. They stand there. Let's see. What would Papyrus like? A spaghetti recipe? Yes, the last soul to cook some meat for you. Last soul is trying to hide its joy. Then everyone will. Why even try? Hmm. What about the puzzle? I don't want to insult either of them. <laughs> Sans might be into it. I don't know. He might think it's funny. He has the last soul for help with the puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Oh, shit. Shit. There we go. The last soul stand there. Now should I joke with you? The last soul, a bad pun. Suddenly, its memories are flooding back. See how nicely you treated its brother. The other last soul remembers too. Yay! No, wait! You're my friend! I can never capture you! No, I'm rooting for you, kid! We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Feel something resonating with the Nazriel. Oh yeah, we saved them both. Okay. My Alfie's now. Within the depths of Azriel's soul, something's resonating. Last soul appeared. Oh, she's in her date outfit. Which means... Oh, I bet I should nerd out with her. Yeah, the last soul what her favorite cartoon is. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. <laughs> you hate me, don't you? Oh, oh, I don't hate you. I am a, I'm a little concerned by your past actions, but uh, I don't hate you. What if I encourage her? I need some confidence. Tell the last soul that she'll continue to support her. Something about the way you said that is familiar to her. Something about the way you said that is familiar to her. I gotta keep lying. Oh shit. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> 
The last soul stands there. Uh, a quiz? Sure. It's the last soul for helping a quiz question. Suddenly, memories are flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. Yay, another one. All right, here we go. Now it's time for mom and dad. Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. The last souls appeared. Oh, they're both together. Okay, oh shit. Why did I hit that? <laughs> um, I keep assuming it'll just stay on the last the last choice that it was on, but it keeps defaulting to go back to fight. I don't want to fight. <gasps> I need to hug her. You hug the last soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. No one will ever leave again. This is my duty. The murder mittens. Last soul stand there. Um, my preference. What would that mean? Oh, maybe like my butterscotch uh, pie. Tell the last soul you prefer butterscotch is that cinnamon. There it is. Somehow she faintly recalls hearing this before. There it is. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. The last soul stand there. Maybe I'll try mercy. Refuse to fight the last soul. Something about this is so familiar to her. No one will ever leave again. I guess I might have to talk too. All right. Let's try talking it out. Tell the last soul that you have to go if you're not going to free everyone. Suddenly, her memories are flooding back. There we go. Seeing you remember. Seeing her remember you. The male lost soul tried hard to remember you too. <gasps> it did it. Your fate is up to you now. You are their future. Your friend's soul is resonating within Azrael. Someone else? Who would that be? Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul. Stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? <gasps> are we saving Azrael from this... this situation? I just got chills. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! We really were that first human that fell down there. Oh my goodness. There's something's gotta be- Well, he does say he wipes all their memories each time I go through, but how can they not know that I'm the kid? Like, they remember having the child before. Having the human child living with them. So why don't they remember when they see me each time? I don't know. You feel your friend's souls resonating within Azrael. What, what did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no! I don't need anyone! Whoa. 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 <laughs> oh, buddy. Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! Sage, do you know why I'm doing this? I keep fighting to keep you around? I think it's the only way that he's figured out that can still see me again. I'm doing this because you're special, Sage. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. No. That's not just it. I... I... I'm doing this because I care about you, Sage. I care about you more than anybody else. He's like crying. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. Oh. So please, stop doing this. And just let me win. Oh, buddy. Oh my god, that's like all of his power. Stop it. Stop it now. Look at the health bar. Oh my god. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Sage. I'm so alone, Sage. I'm so afraid, Sage. I'm so afraid, Sage. Sage, I... I... What's happening? <laughs> Did he go back to normal? Please let us just stay like this. I'm so sorry. Can they just stay like this and be a little family again and then everything will be fine? I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Sage? I know. You're not actually Sage, are you? Okay, so that explains 
that we just must look like the human and have the same name or something. Sage has been gone for a long time. Um, what, what is your name? Frisk? Oh, that's how people know what the character's name is actually. Okay. I wondered, because I like knew that this character was called Frisk, but I didn't know where that ever comes up. That's a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. <laughs> Frisk, I... I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. Oh, I'm gonna forgive you. What? Frisk, come on. You're, you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. Are we gonna open the barrier still somehow? Whoa. Oh my goodness! Look at all that! Whoa. <gasps> the barrier! The barrier was destroyed. We did it. We didn't have to die. Frisk. I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, like... So... Like, I guess the monsters, they have, like, their own souls, but they're just not the same as human souls, because human souls have determination. Alright. But so, after Azriel died, because the humans, like, murdered him, Alfie has decided to try and resurrect him? Using the flower, but it like didn't take, right? Is that kind of where this is? But then all the human souls made it work, sort of. Okay. <laughs> so, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. Of course I'm going to comfort him. He's been through a lot. He's done a lot of bad shit, but, like, he didn't ask to be put into a flower after dying. <laughs> I, I don't want to let go. I don't want to let go. Frisk, you're, you're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do. Everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. What an absolute curse to have to exist that way.
By the way, Frisk, take care of mom and dad for me, okay? My heart. Why the hell did Alfie's have to fuck around with that? Should have just let him rest and be dead and not try and resurrect people from the dead. It never ends well. Frisk, this is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. What does that mean? <gasps> Friends, look at them all. Oh, you're awake, thank goodness. You are so worried. It felt like you were up forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. <laughs> what did you catch? Tears. Now, now. The important part is that Frisk is all right. Here, Frisk. Here, Frisk. I'm gonna drink some tea. It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them some space first? They must be very exhausted. No, from what I'm not certain. Oh, no, from what? I am not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything but white. But now the barrier is gone. When you're ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk? You can say goodbye to all your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We'll all wait for you here. Oh my goodness, I want to talk to everyone. Hello, Frisk. Alfie's upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh man, Tori, that's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned. And also that she's a huge dork. <laughs> a virus. You two aren't two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We're texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You're not a dork. You're more of a bonehead. <laughs> wow. Those puns are even less funny coming from her. Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. My goodness. Frisk, Tori was telling me how she made butter... <laughs> Be scotch pie for you. Oh, I should bake it for everyone sometime. Oh, that sounds really good. Cooking? Can I help? Wait a second. Can I help too? <laughs> Certainly. It would be fun to cook together. On second thought, maybe I'll, I'll order a pizza. Probably a safer idea. So, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the human's quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard? Truly, this is the worst possible ending. Oh, Papyrus. So, Alphys, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course I'm going to go out and, um, no, I should be honest. I'm going to stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. That's the spirit. Everyone, a celebration to main losers. <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing that ever happened to me. So, I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um, what's in anime? Oh my god. Oh, he's gonna get the info dump of his life. <laughs> Frisk, please. Help me explain what anime is to Asgore. Y you see, it's like a cartoon, but uh, with swords. So it's like a cartoon, but with swords? Golly, that sounds neato. <laughs> Where is this? Where can I see the anime? Uh, hold on, uh, I think I have some on my phone. Here, look at this. Oh, uh, um, that's the, that's the, oh, <laughs> that's the wrong. Uh, never mind. What type of, what type of anime are you watching, Alfies? Hmm? Golly, <laughs> were those two robots kissing? Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it uh, sure is. Psst. Frisk, um, you've got to tell me. Do, do, do you think Asgore and Toriel are, uh, ever gonna get back together? Um, uh, honestly, no. But for the purposes of answering this question, I'm gonna say yes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I hope too. Just think about how cute they must have been together. It's quickly becoming my number one ship of all time. <laughs> Don't ship real people. Tori and Gory. My, my old boss and his ex-wife. Uh, that sounds a lot less cool all of a sudden. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. 
I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. <laughs> Asgore, that's not what I meant. Oh my god, so can I like go? I'm gonna save. Can I go? Can I? If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Okay. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. I'm gonna... I'm not gonna leave yet. I wanna go... They said I can explore a little bit. I wanna see if there's any post... post-pacifist game stuff. Well, it's time. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. I'm ready. Look at them all watching the sunrise together. Maybe it's the sunset. <laughs> oh my. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow. It's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Chris, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice. The air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, suns. What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowie! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun. I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone. This is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk. I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Of course I will. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador. And I, the great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. Oh, Papyrus. <laughs> well, someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. You're going in a different direction. <laughs> Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! <laughs> hey, Undyne, wait up! Just me and mom and dad. Whoops. Uh, should I do something? <laughs> Annoyed face. Well, gotta go. Seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk? You came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I don't know. I do kind of want to stay with her. <laughs> what? Frisk! You really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose. You really do not have any other place to go. I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. Alright? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. Holding my hand, just like the very beginning. What a wonderful game. I am so, so glad that I decided to go back and do a pacifist run. <gasps> What's this? As we stayed with her, she made us some pie. Oh. What a wonderful game. Thank you again so, so much for watching this. Um, if you haven't seen the other videos in my playthrough, I did a neutral run first, and then I did this pacifist run. The links to all that is down below in the description. Undertale is truly something so special to me. I'm so glad that I played this game. I'm extra glad I went back into the pacifist run. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.